and welcome to a quick forward fold tutorial. Uttanasana, it's also called, is a very symmetrical pose and it's a very intense stretch of the backside, the whole backside, not only the legs. And we're trying to work with relaxing the backside by engaging the front. For these tricks or variations that I'll show you, you might need two blocks and maybe even a chair. And then we'll try to uh, make sure that you feel fairly comfortable in your forward fold and that you can slowly start to progress. To work on forward fold, it's great even before you start to go into your sun salutations or your other warm ups. It's great if you could use a chair, uh, even the edge of the chair or the seat of the chair, to work on lengthening the backside. So, especially for those who feel like very tight in the hamstrings, for example, this would be a great variation. So get a chair and then you can either, either use this edge and just lean over it and start to feel these parts of your body. So the backs of the legs. Stay for about 30 to 60 seconds. We're trying to slowly allow the body to feel that it's safe to be in this position, especially when working with very tight hamstrings. And if you want to start to deepen the pose, even here, you contract the front of the body in order to relax the back of the body. So this would mean by engaging thighs. And in yoga, we always say, pull your kneecaps up. And this cue actually means engage the front of the thighs. So here, you could stay for about 30 to 60 seconds, maybe even down here. And then you could start to work without the chair. So after about 30 to 60 seconds here, you would release the pose and then maybe go on to blocks or directly to the floor, depending on your flexibility. With the blocks, we elevate the floor to gradually work our way down towards the floor from the chair. And here you would maybe even start with bent legs. Over time, you want to start to extend and stretch. So try to relax when you're in this position with hands on blocks or on the floor to relax for 10 seconds and then go for a contract phase of engaging thighs again, holding this for 10 seconds, slowly releasing this hard engagement of or contraction of the thighs and then slowly try to pull yourself closer or deeper into the stretch. And again, about 30 to 60 seconds here and you could do a couple of sets of these. So when you're working without blocks, hands on floor, same thing applies. When you go into the pose, hold for 10 seconds, then engage, pull kneecaps up and pull yourself deeper into the stretch. So we're engaging the front to relax the back. And over time, this will mean that you slowly start to go lower and deeper towards your legs. When working with forward fold, we have half forward fold and full forward fold. So this would be full forward fold here or with bent knees here. If you feel in sun salutation is just too much of a strain on the backs. So if you want to work separately on forward fold, go for longer holds. In your sun salutations, we're trying to ballistically go into these stretches. So for half forward fold, just to add this one here, we bend the knees pull shoulders back, extend the back, inhale, and on an exhale, we again come back to forward fold. That's it for forward fold. Try these tips, maybe with a chair, maybe with blocks, and um, I hope you'll have fun practicing. <laughs>